Hi, welcome to Manhattan Zodiac Virtual Bar. My name is Katya and today I am going to unfold one of the fundamental secrets of mixology for you in the face of a cocktail. And uh, I really doubt that uh, most of you ever heard about this one, even though mixologists all over the world use this formula to create new tastes. And uh, I can tell that uh, if I knew about this recipe at the beginning of my very exciting and uh, entertaining mixology way, it would make my life way easier easier in terms of memorizing dozens and dozens of uh, craft and uh, classic cocktails because we are talking about mother of huge cluster of cocktails and her name is the Daisy and she's very adaptive she can work with hundreds of different tastes uh, different spirits and different modifiers the Daisy is another classic recipe by Jerry Thomas, father of American mixology, and the first time it shows up in 1876 Bartender's Guide, and it was made with brandy. Uh, the name has become obscured by time, uh, but the recipe itself is alive and well, and as uh, many other simple and uh, genius things are, it became a base for a huge family of cocktails such as Cosmopolitan and Sidecar. Basically it's one of the branches uh, on sour family tree and it's sour modified by orange liqueur such as uh, Grand Manier, Cointreau or Triple Sec or any other. So the structure of the recipe will be two parts of ABV where one part will be spirit, another part will be orange liqueur and from there you add your one part of sweet and one part of sour. And it will be nice, sweet and tasty, but at the end of 19th century and beginning of 20th century, when mixology was developing, drinks were way sweeter than now. Maybe because of the need to mask uh, low quality spirit in them, maybe because of other reasons, but right now people uh, tend to consume way less sugar than before and drinks became less sweet. So the way we suggest to rebuild the structure of the recipe is 2 ounces of ABV, your base spirit, one ounce of sour, your lime or lemon, then three quarters of an ounce of uh, Cointreau or other orange liqueur and one quarter of an ounce of your sugar. And uh, knowing these ratios, uh, understanding how flavors work, understanding the structure, you can get creative and uh, you can use whatever spirits and flavors you have on hand. And now you can play with this recipe as much as you want, you can modify your sugar part, you can use 50-50 instead of 75-25, to 25, uh, which we recommended you, you can substitute your simple syrup with grenadine, honey, agave, for the other sweet part you can use different armaros, vermouths or uh, your favorite fruit liqueurs, you can top your final product with soda water if you want it on the refreshing side, you can change your base spirit. So there are no limits at all and uh, you can also just keep it as simple as vodka, lemon, uh, orange liqueur and simple syrup and it still will be very delicious and uh, the name will be Lemon Drop Martini. Just be aware of uh, your sweetness because uh, simple syrup that bartenders use contain one part of sugar and one part of water. The same we do with honey and agave, we dissolve it with water one to one. Unless you buy final product like grenadine or simple syrup which is already ready for mixing, you don't want your drink to be overly sweet but you also can always adjust it by adding more sour or more booze or opposite more sugar. Balance of sweet and sour is very personal and uh, classic ratios is pretty much uh, uh, average uh, person's taste uh, and uh, you always can play with that, you can adjust that uh, because you are going to be the one who will enjoy the final product. The Daisy can be served in any glassware, in a cocktail glass, in julep mug over crushed ice, uh, in Collins glass. I'm going to prepare a bucket glass with ice uh, just because it's sunny and nice outside and uh, I'm in the mood for something refreshing. Ready to make it? Let's make it. So I have tequila as my base spirit, two ounces. I have Grand Manier as my orange liqueur. 3 quarters of an ounce. I have agave as the other part of the sweetness, 1 quarter of an ounce. And I have lime juice as my sour.
shake it open. Garnish ready. Cheers, guys. You probably already guessed what I made. Do you know the word for the daisy in Spanish? Correct, Margarita. So the reason why I made Margarita because it's very famous Daisy's daughter, but Daisy was almost 60 when Margarita was born. So basically Margarita is tequila Daisy. Now you have base for at least four classic recipes, which are Sidecar, Cosmopolitan, Margarita and Lemon Drop. I hope you will have fun with that, create your own recipes, ask us questions under this video, subscribe our channel and uh, have fun. See you next time.